All right, morning everyone. Uh, Friday morning. Boy, it was a cold one. Uh, it wasn't supposed to rain last night, so I left a few things out. And of course, it poured. I heard it around two, and then didn't dry up at all. Everything's still soaked. And uh, I had that 50 inch saw blade bringing it up here. I was gonna throw it on that arbor just so I can kind of see where everything sits because I have this up here. This is the Altman Taylor Jr. for those of you that doesn't know nothing about it, but uh, I didn't see this mill set up. So I have no clue exactly how that's set up right there. The I did see one picture and it looked like it was on this side of the pulley or of of that gear sorry and that gear is the gear that runs to here which i still got to get a i'm getting a couple of sprockets but uh and then that runs uh that wheel sits in there and when you move the lever i'm guessing that's forward because that would be or Maybe that's reverse and that's forward, I think. That's what it is. But anyways, that wheel just touches on the inside and that side to make the carriage go. Pretty simple setup. I like it. Um, so anyways, this is what I got going on. I thought I'd give you guys an update on what's happening with this. I haven't broke down and bought a sandblaster yet. It's kind of like trying to think where I'm going to do it. Maybe I could do it, hang some plastic and do it right here. I am going to kick the other snowmobile out here. I threw the old ladies out the other day. and uh, Well, she don't ride. It's pretty much mine. I got it for her on Valentine's Day. It's pink. And I was going to paint it. It was going to be my sled and... uh she ended up wanting and thinking that she might snowmobile one day and so then i jumped online and found this one and then we had a trip planned to go out to her parents in idaho so when i was searching for sleds i did it on like craigslist i don't know 13 years ago something like that and uh found these got the old ladies was two grand i paid and then I think I paid 22 for this. This is an 07. That's an 05. But anyways, back to this. So not knowing how any of that's set up, and I don't know the track height to the, you know, so that my head blocks run perfect on the, oh, sorry, camera, shitty spot, but the head blocks run perfect. Uh, you know, you know the track set up, so I figured I'm going to bring the carriage up here. I do have enough room. The carriage is 16 foot long, so I'm going to throw the carriage in here on uh, just probably some wood beams cut the same thickness as what uh, the thickness of steel I'm using. Those beams I plan on using are six or uh, eight inch beams, so I'm just going to cut a few ties and then this here so that this can just be mounted in something and I don't have to mount it to the track I have a square steel chunk that I was going to use for a husk well the steel on it is the same thickness as the steel I plan on using so I'm thinking about mounting that in there uh, the spool and that way that'll just be one contained piece I can move around with the tractor so that's my idea and then i figured i'd bring that up here right now and then just add a couple pieces of wood on that end and a few pieces of wood on this end and have the carriage sitting here and then i can figure out my heights i need to be so that way when i go out there i kind of already know what i'm going at and i can start milling up some timbers stuff like that so and then, plus, a bonus of having the carriage in here, I'll be able to paint it and have it ready to go out in the spring. So, 
All right, here's the next thing. So, for connecting on my two inch arbor, this is a two inch right here. So I don't have nothing to connect the drive shaft to it. So I, uh, I pulled one of, well, it's just the drive shaft end with the, off one of my transmissions, but I'm going to maybe go over to the junkyard and get a couple of them. But anyway, so that I can bolt, I'm going to put that on here. Oh, let me just grab it. All right. So I got the metal. So I bought this off eBay. It's a uh, aircraft quality, I guess. Uh, it's just hot rolled, but he had even asked me not to get cold rolled or uh, yeah, cold rolled because he said it was a lot harder. Anyway, so this piece here is I don't know if I'm going to use it or not. It's off the transmission there, one of my spares, and. I thought of maybe cutting off this thread because that's just for the, what the hell is it called? The RPMs. So I wouldn't need that to have them smooth it down and figure out some way of making this into this. You know, this year I'm going to cut this in half, so we're only using a four inch collar. But uh, I might just get the one off a rear end. I'm going to go to the junkyard maybe and get a few or maybe even look online. I've never priced them. Don't know what they cost. But I figure in this way, then this four inch will slide on to this arbor. And then that'll be my hookup for the drive shaft at this end. So more or less the same concept that's on the American. I did uh, start ripping some of that old rubber off here. And, uh, God, this thing was so moldy. Still kind of stinks, but, uh, I think I'm going to take it right off. It looked like though they had it riveted. I'm wondering if once I get it off, I can just... Looking at the rivets, they're just put all over. And some are different sizes. I'm guessing it's something they did. Or, you know, I mean, I don't think it's factory. I don't know. Uh, yeah, hard telling on that. I want to say the picture I have, you don't see that in the picture of, uh, I do have one, a couple pictures of the Altman Taylor Jr. flyers. And uh, you don't see that big piece of flat belt on there, so... And I think I did see in another spot where you could tell it was some really shitty cuts. Oh, yeah, so there's staples in it. Yeah, right here, there's, there's some pretty crappy cuts there. And I just think that's an old flat belt. Get it off there, and I'll grind all those flat and, you know, get this all sandblasted. I'm thinking uh, probably going blue and black. Uh, there ain't a whole lot of selection of implement paint. So I figured, uh, you know, a lot of mills are red. Even, you know, I even have one down the hill. I, when I plan on repainting the American, I'm going to go back with either red and black or red and green. It was originally red and green. So, but, all right, well, I'm going to get this blade in here and get it hung. All right, so I decided to carry the blade in real quick. I didn't video it, but, uh. So that's how that'll look. Like I said, get gear on there, and then uh, I'm going to get that carriage up there, maybe even today, if uh, this goes quick on this trailer. You know, I have just about everything that I, when I used to lift it up, all the chunks of wood, I kept them all together instead of putting everything back in the spot. So hopefully that'll save me a little time. I don't know what's going on with Jason. I figured I don't want to work them for the next couple of days because I need them Tuesday. So I feel if I get him over here and work them a day or two, he'll uh, be whining that he can't work Tuesday. And uh, I don't want him to cop out on me at the last minute. So, but so this blade ran excellent. Teeth are shot in it. 
when I got it, the teeth were shot, and I sharpened them a little bit, not knowing really the angle or anything. That was before I bought new teeth. But then I got that 40 inch, and that 40 inch had great teeth on it at the time. Well, then I steadily was using the 40, and I bought a new box of teeth, or bits, whatever you want to call them. Some people don't like it when you call them teeth. Fuck, they've been getting called teeth long before they were born. But I see that tooth there even looks like it's sitting, or bit looks like it's sitting a little sideways. Maybe it's that. It was on the board side. It was leaving a pretty substantial scratch in it. You know, like, I know you get, you know, blade off a little bit. You know, to where it leaves one that's digging a little harder than the rest. That doesn't even, can't even see nothing on it. But anyways, so, I, uh, I didn't care for that. So then I got, I put that 40 on there. And I've never messed with this one anymore. So, I thought I, uh, I got my little gauge, you know, for checking to see how many thousands it's off in a wobble, but I'm going to put some gauges on it and check and make sure. I'll probably check the arbor first to make sure there ain't no wobble in that. Seems they didn't do that spectacular of a job on the Babbitt bearings. I'm almost tempted to maybe... If it wouldn't have been such an issue here, like the way all this is, God, I feel like that's going to be a hassle if I tried to put a regular bearing there. Well, all right, everyone. It's Friday. Make sure you smile. Some of you that uh, don't have to work tomorrow, you can sleep in. But uh, <laughs> all right, everyone. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.